three went on a field trip to a small village called Purbing. The village of Purbing is about 15 kilometers from Namchi and is rich in biodiversity. Our objective for this field trip was the identification and collection of local flora and fauna. To do this, we separated ourselves into three groups. Group 1 studying orchids, Group 2 studying fungi, and then Group 3 studying pteridophytes. So we are from Group A working on orchids and orchids being from the family of Orchidacea are one of the most commonly found in this region uh, and uh, orchids they are found in like many different varieties and different colors and the most uh, commonly found orchid in this region is Cymbidium orchid. Orchids, our topic is a type of plant, uh, is a type of epiphyte that grows on other plants and it uh, gains its nutrients and minerals from that specific plant. It differs from parasites as they do not cause any harm to the plant that they grow on. So tell us something about the specimen you found. As you can see, this is a specimen found by us in here. This specimen is found in the trunk of the trees, in branches and in many places in this forest. So as you can see, this orchid's name is Cymbidium orchid and these orchids are common this orchids commonly has three sepals and three petals but the sepals are commonly mistaken as petals too as you can see here all of them looks like the petals as you can see this protruding leaves of the orchid is known as labellum this is the site for the insects to come and sit for their pollination and etc this specimen is the coleogline sp and this structure is known as the suitable their main characteristic is their hanging like roots called the villums, which help in the absorption of moisture from the air. Some commonly found local species of orchids other than Coleogline and Cymbidium include Arudina graminifolia, also known as bamboo orchid, and Dendrobium nobile. Orchids are widely known for their aesthetics and ornamental beauty, but also play an important role in the ecosystem by attracting pollinators. Their presence signifies that the ecosystem is vibrant and lively. Fungi are eukaryotic organisms, meaning they have a defined nucleus and other membrane-bound organelles. They include molds, mushrooms, yeasts, etc. They reproduce through vegetative reproduction, asexual and sexual reproduction, but most species reproduce asexually through spore formation. So we're group 2 and we are currently working on fungi. So the first specimen that we have found is known as Microporus xanthippus. It is an inedible wood decaying mushroom and it is mostly found in tropical areas. It is used for anti-aging properties, birth control and breast cancer remedies. Fungi serve many purposes which include medicinal use, use as or in preparation of food, production of antibiotics, etc. Pteridophytes are the first terrestrial, seedless, vascular plants comprising about 13,000 species. These are commonly called ferns. They are spore-producing vascular plants found in humid, tropical, and temperate areas. The specimen shown in the image above is Lycopodium clavitum, commonly known as club moss, ground pine, or bull's claw. They are found in tropical and subtropical regions. In homeopathy, it is used in the treatment of aneurysms, constipation, fevers, and chronic lung disorders. As we near the end of this video, I would like to talk about the benefits of field trips and outside of classroom learning. Learning outside the classroom can help teachers create enthusiasm for learning and provide real-world context. Evidence suggests learning outside the classroom can raise achievement, improve classroom behavior, and improve the engagement of the students. Now, from a student's point of view, this field trip was a much needed break from classroom learning. To learn through interacting with our surroundings was much more engaging and interesting than in classroom learning. 
as the 30 kilometers walk was treacherous, but in the end, it was all so very worth it. So, say something about the trek now. Hey? It was a wonderful experience. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, going on a field trip with uh, class 11 science students. Uh, it's it's uh, we are fortunate that uh, we were able to complete our task uh, and then we were all we are all safe back home so we survived some yeah we survived yeah, some like kind of no we are back in one so no eh oh all right good everyone uh, did well okay